With that, I, uh, let's give Brian a warm welcome. This is looking good already. Okay, just a bunch of questions to start with. How many people, how many people here have not seen me before? And how many people have? What are you doing? You should be working at this point. <laughs> this doesn't look good on me, guys. Okay, I'm just kidding, just kidding. Um, how many people here, as part of your uh, responsibilities at work, have to interview other people as interviewers? Uh, for those of you that put your hands up, how many of you have um, had professional training in this area? How to interview other people? Two. That's what we're looking at today. Forget about it. You were too late, okay? Um, <laughs> That is what we're dealing with when you guys trot out to your interviews. And so what we're going to look at this morning in one context uh, is the idea what is really going on in the interview, not what you think is going on. Because I know none of you, as far as I know, are professional job candidates. I don't believe there's anybody in the room that makes a habit of interviewing every day of your working career. And so that being the case, we're going to have to take a look at uh, what you really are dealing with and how to overcome it. And by the end of the session, I'm hoping you can walk out with a couple of little jewels of information that you may not have considered that you can integrate into your repertoire. I will also guarantee any technique, any prep strategy, any delivery strategy, any mechanism we look at uh, is not um, going to change anybody's personality, good looks, sense of humor, or presentation style. Uh, I like to refer to myself as the, the content guy. We're going to take a look at the idea that um, the rest of the world that you face on the other side of the table are not mind readers. They don't know you from a hole in the ground. In fact, we're going to take a look at the proposition that if they do know you from a hole in the ground, that's not good news for you as a candidate. Could mean they have a preconceived notion uh, as to what makes you tick based on a very narrow view of their exposure to you or, or their experience. And so uh, that may not be the information they need to be clearly aware of to make an intelligent decision about you. So we're going to end up treating all interviewers the same as total strangers to make sure that they get it. 